Hope will arise out of the ashes of our past broken relationships, fractured families, and personal struggles. Come walk a mile with me as we allow Jesus to clean out the mess and organize the rest. Welcome to the Bridging Broken to Breakthrough podcast. I am your host, Maria Wingard. Grab your shoes, lace them up as we start strolling through this week's episode. The Heart of February, Part 3. The Heart of February reflects the heart of the Father, continuing with the story of Joseph from the gray of January. We also see healthy boundaries. God has relationship boundaries with us, so why would we think living without them is biblical? Many times in the Bible we read, if you do this, you will be blessed. If you do this, you will be cursed. Boundaries show love in both the face of wrongdoing as well as healthy relationships. Boundaries say, I love and honor you enough to maintain a connected relationship. This safe connection does not allow you access to destroy or harm me while I choose to love you like Jesus. Boundaries say, I love, honor, and respect who God created you to be. We see this in how Joseph allowed them to stay at the palace, but in a separate place. It really is okay to move those incapable of walking with you through your gray of January out of your inner circle and outer circles. If they can't support the weight of an equal relationship, the icy weight of winter will break their branch. For others, They believe the lie that what makes them happy is all they should pursue. This is why we have so many revolving doors in friendships, marriages, and church families. By dropping people when life gets difficult, we lose conflict resolution skills, longevity, and fortitude. We lose battle birth relational security. The mentality that if it does not make me happy, it is toxic, hardly reflects the heart of God. He left the 99 for the one. He sat with toxic people, broke bread with them, and sought them out. We're not called to happiness, but holiness. We should strive to live a life that glorifies God. To be honest, everyone is the current definition of toxic at some point in their lives. Modern society would have us label most relational conflicts as toxic simply because we don't want to do the hard work relationships require from us. In all relationships, the extent that I am willing to bring up and resolve issues indicates to what extent I value that relationship. This is how we, quote, bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 6, 2. The winter of your soul reveals the beautiful relational gifts God has granted you. If we're also honest with ourselves, maybe it's God who has disappointed and left us unhappy. Do we at times find him toxic? Could we be pushing him away in our unbiblical view of God and relationships? Letting go of offense to walk in healing or holding on to stay wounded both have a price. You just have to decide which one you're willing to pay. It's glorious to fight for love. It's biblical to fight for unity. It's honoring to love like Jesus. Even if they do you dirty, God could still require you like he did Joseph to feed, then house them. Quote, you're not a Joseph until you feed a brother who you heard talk about killing you before he sold you into slavery. End quote. Am I allowed to say I want to skip this chapter? I mean, I know I can't, but with everything in me, I want to. Much has been stolen. Is it okay to say, Lord, help me with my unbelief? Fear that God is not answering my prayers anymore grips my soul. Icy lies injected into my veins by fear leaves me desperately crying out to God for mercy. 
The weight is almost unbearable. Deliver me, Lord. Rescue your daughter. I cry while like Abraham and Sarah, not really believing or seeing a way for him to do so. Yet, I do believe in the goodness of God. But why I'm not a recipient in this moment escapes me. Lord, forgive me for allowing fear and unbelief. I do know you are good. And I know you have good for me. And I know that you love me. I have seen God's hand too many times to dismiss his existence or his lavish love towards me. Quote, the faithful love of the Lord never ends. Lamentations 3.22. Silently, Without me realizing it, he was there, holding my branch all along, in the middle of my winter, with two nail-pierced hands. He gently and lovingly bears the weight of my entire tree, all of me. You will see the beautiful branches that bent far, covered much, and held up under the weight. You will be ever so grateful they did not snap. The ones that broke, one day, you will be grateful for that pruning. I am grateful you decided to walk a mile with me, your host, Maria Wingard, on the Bridging Broken to Breakthrough podcast. I pray that through our conversation, Jesus reveals how he is bridging broken to breakthrough as we stroll through another mile in this journey called life. Hope will arise if you let him in your life today. To listen to past episodes or find out more, please visit hopewillarise.com.